This is Rashida Trine for Knockout Beauty and these are my favorite makeup products. I want to start with my makeup remover products because I believe that they're very important in your makeup regimen. And I want to start off with my makeup remover wipes. And these wipes are from e.l.f. The makeup remover cleansing cloths. I adore these. I adore these because they do what they got to do. They're very affordable and they are no nonsense they don't break me out they get the makeup off and I really do like these for like spot treatment excellent on the go on the move traveling to get rid of the makeup excellent I pay these are like these run like three dollars on eyeslipface.com and I always stock up on them when they have a 50% or some type of um, discount so I've spent like a dollar fifty for these for 20 wipes, $1.50, can't go wrong, and they work, and they don't break me out, go to. For overall cleaning, I love the Purity Made Simple by Philosophy. These people know what they're doing. I don't think I would want to wear makeup if I didn't have this available. This is my go-to. Go-to, go-to, go-to makeup remover. Thank you so much. This right here was about $21 at... Sephora, I um, took advantage of the 15% off discount that they recently had, so I got this for I think less than $20. So I was a fan of that. Next, we're going to go to our face primer, and the face primer that I'm all heads over heels over is the Benefit Professional. This is the truth, Ruth, baby. This is a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful primer. Why? Because, for one, it's a cream base. It's not a silicone. I adore that. I adore the fact that it goes on matte. It leaves my skin feeling silky and even, and everything is, like, ready. Just a clean canvas to get to be painted to filth. Love this stuff. This actually was very pricey, people. This was $30 at Sephora. But once again, I also um, took advantage of the 15% off coupon. So I think I spent around $27 for this. So we prime. Of course, we are going to start painting. And I like to get my foundation on with the L'Oreal True Match. This color right here is in the W6. Um, it says a little light for me. So I just concentrate this color on my under eye, forehead, bridge nose, cupid's bow, and around the chin. I have W7 in, um, in the L'Oreal True Match, but unfortunately the bottle broke, so I have it in a different container, so I just wanted to use this one to show off the product. Now after we get the foundation on, we have to set our foundation with some sort of powder. The powder that I love to set my foundation with is the Ben Nye Banana Powder. Yes. Um, I originally bought this for the whole Kim K phase, and one day I was looking at it and I was just like, hey, that's banana powder. I'm a little banana. Let's see what this will do. Oh my goodness, this is the holy grail. First of all, it doesn't yellow my face any. doesn't make my face any discolorations. So that's the first thing I did. I don't want to look like uncooked chicken wings. I want to look, you know, good. It doesn't do that. Pictures, I get no white cast. I don't look like I'm like a geisha with the white makeup on. Fabulous, fabulous product. Thank you, Ben Nye. I'm going to be looking out for you when it's time to replace some of the products I do have because I'm feeling your style. After we set the foundation, I'm just going to go with um, all my face products now, even if that's not the way that I normally do it when I get my face together. But my bronzer slash contouring go-to is the Wet n Wild Color Icon. This is in the Ticket to Brazil 739 color, and I really like this because it is a very subtle contour. It's a very good contour for the office, a very nice contour for the day, a contour that doesn't look like you're trying to or you're making yourself look like a drag queen. Love you, but sometimes I don't want to do that at work. I actually took this when I bought this and I walked around in Sephora and I tested this out comparing it to the um, Benefit Hula. And I'm seriously, if you are in a pinch, I said I'm not buying Hula. I got this one. This was like maybe $4.99 at the drugstore. Hula is like $30 something dollars. You do the math, you do what you gotta do, but it gives me that subtle, that subtle color when I need it for a fraction of the price. Goodbye. Now my go-to blush is the Wet n Wild Heather Silk. 
this right here gives me that nice flush of pink doesn't give me a like crazy 80s um pink just gives me a nice flush of pink so i look like my face still looks human after i put all this foundation and setting powder i want it to give me a look of life this does it a little goes a long way you just gotta tap tap on that brush and put your stuff on i suggest putting on blush do not smile like a pageant queen when you put on your blush unless your job is to smile and greet people all day long and your cheeks are always up in your eyeballs no because if you put it on a ball of your cheek and all day long you are just sitting regular guess what that shot that blush is that blush is all the way down here baby mm -mm. keep your face flush keep your face regular and just put it right over the contour you're going to be all right it's going to be a good day so now that's all of my face products. Now let's move on to the eyes. Now the eyes, I'm going to start out with the base and the shadow. And that's all coming on one palette. And that palette is the Mally in the Buff palette. Yes, baby. Yes, children. This is my go-to palette, especially for the day. Why? Because this palette is gorgeous. This is what it looks like. We have our base right here that's worth its cost of the whole palette. This right here is the business. Then you give yourself a matte brow bone color, a shimmer color, you get yourself a transition color, a, a, a shimmer color, another transition color. Then you have all these beautiful colors that you can do for creases, lids, and outer Vs. You are, I'm doing big business now. I'm wearing this this color right now I am wearing the Egyptian gold on the lid I'm wearing the chocolate diamonds on the outer V into the crease and I have on the buff on the transition color love 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 this this I got this in QVC and QVC is a great place to go, people, to get some quality products at good prices. Not only are the prices affordable, but they also have this thing called Easy Pay. And Easy Pay is like lay away on TV, baby. It works. This I bought, it was, when I bought it, it was $50 with two Easy Pays of $25. Plus tax and shipping and handling. I don't even remember spending that money now. Worth it. Worth it, worth it, worth it. Now for the eyeliner, it's also by Miss Mally Beauty. And it comes in this fabulous little case. It makes me feel fabulous just having it and holding it to my hand. It comes with a fabulous library of 10 eyeliners. Baby, 10 eyeliners. These eyeliners range in colors from greens to black to gray to silver to navy to gold to bronze, purple and pink, and a brown. 10 colors. You can do whatever you need to do with these. These go on smooth and creamy. You can, you could, I'm not even a big fan of the um, upper lid eyeliner. It's just sometimes it looks like a Sharpie. You know, if you see my other videos, you know, some things I just don't like. But these are nice that you can blend with them, but don't take your time with them. These, when they put, when they're on, they are on like popcorn. They do not move too much. Gorgeous. For all these 10 eyeliners, I think I spent $50 for them and it was on Easy Pay. Two Easy Pays for $25. I don't even remember. It didn't hurt, didn't make a dent. And these are my go-to. I like to use the grays and the browns under the eye um, for work. And then at night, I like to play around with the blacks and purples and all the other great crazy colors. But sometimes I do put a pop of color on. Feeling a little spicy. Whatever. But go-to. Very happy that I have these. Now, as far as mascara, I'm a big fan of the L'Oreal Double Extends. I'm trying to get the, the name there for you. And it looks something like this. This is fabulous to me because this is like two products in one. You get your primer and you get your mascara. And I'm a girl that loves to prime my eyes before I put the mascara on. It makes the mascara do its job so much better. The mascara, the primer comes on in white. The mascara is in the standard brush, not too much craziness with it. It's in black. 
This is Drugstore from L'Oreal. I spent $12.49 on this, and I know you're saying, okay, that's a lot of money. But once again, I live in a city that doesn't sleep and is very expensive. And I also took advantage of the buy one, get one. Buy one, get one usually in drugstores. You buy one thing from one brand, you can get something else from the um, same brand 50% off. And I did get an unfallible, unfallible um, eyeshadow that I really do like. So $12.49, got something 50% off. Good deal, good sale, makes my eyes look really pretty, doesn't give me that tarantula eye, it doesn't have the clumpies or anything like that, it makes me look real, just, just a defined eyelashes, nothing crazy. Alright, and next with the lips, my go-to lip products are my Tarte Beauty Baby. Tarte I really do appreciate this brand and I'm really, as far as the Ben 9 Tarte, these are the two lines that I'm going to really start to invest in when I start to replenish my makeup. Um, I bought these at Sephora during the Christmas season and I got five colors for $30 and that was a big steal because when you go to Sephora, one of these alone is like $20. And I got five colors. Two of them, I don't even know what the colors are anymore because I use them so much. And these are these two here. That the colors, are, the names are gone. Everything's rubbed off. You know, you wouldn't know where these, these could have came from the dollar store right now. They look so worn out. Um, and this is the color that I have on now, if you're just wondering. Mm -hmm. Yes. Um, the other three colors, I'm just going to name them because I can, is the um, Tarte Enchanted Lip Surgeon's um, Natural Lip Tint. This one has this nice little like red color, very smooth, butter-like. It doesn't get into the creases and the cracks of the lip. It doesn't feather or stray all over your mouth. It really is some high quality, natural product and I'm just I'm just such a fan of it. We have the Tarte Elite. This to me is like, like a coral type of color here. Nice pop for the spring, give your face a little life. Um, and this one here is the Tarte Exposed. And this is the only matte one that came in the group. And this is another fabulous. This is like my go-to office color. Like this matte right here is, is just business in a stick. And they all have like a nice minty type of um, fragrance to it, which is cute. I'm just going to show you the way these things, these two are. This one, this is all I have. This is crazy. Let me just show you. This is how much, I don't use this one a lot, and look how much they give you. And I have this one just as high up, and look how much is left. Can you tell this is my favorite? <laughs> oh my goodness, I just am very, very much so pleased with this line. And I'm not good with swatches, people, just bear with me. I'm just trying to show you what this one looks like. I don't know if you could see that. It's very nice, a little tint with a little nice luster to it. I do adore this color. I don't even know what color it is. I would just have to hopefully that they use the same packaging to get it again. And the other one that I adore, the one that I have on now, this one gives you a more like creamy, pinky color. That's the one on the top, the more prominent color. That's the one that I have on now. And this is like this is like another one that I use. Well, not as much. This one's got a little life to it. I might just have to start using this one more. All right. Well, this was fun. This is my first little favorites and seeing what I have to do. I really do enjoy it. Stay tuned because I'm going to be doing more favorites on hair care. As you see, my hair is in its natural state. I did my first twist out style. I'm really feeling it. And I did just set, set up, um, sign up myself for the Curl Quit subscription. So you'll be seeing me unboxing it and, you know, going through it and showing you what it is. And maybe this will help other natural people to do it. I'm so, so, so excited for it. I hope you liked everything that I had. If you have any questions, feel free to ask. Um, I'm going to put everything down in the drop down. Do, 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 do. And you guys have a good day. Alright? Keep pushing. Talk to you later.